Someone tell me right now how I haven't made this video sooner. Guys, you can sell Shopify products while you are live streaming on YouTube. Let's talk about it. So if you're a YouTuber wanting to monetize your YouTube fame, this video is gonna be perfect for you. Also, if you're an e-commerce entrepreneur and you're looking to get your brand out there and start making sales, then this video is also gonna be for you. I'm gonna show you how you can showcase your branded products through multiple experiences on your YouTube channel, including live streams. Yay, let's do it. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michelle Valley. I am so excited for this video because I'm obsessed with YouTube. I'm obsessed with Shopify. And when you put these two gorgeous, stunning, beautiful things together, I mean, it does not get any better than this. What is live stream shopping? Okay, so the best way that I can describe it is basically it's like, remember QVC or like the shopping network? It's basically that, but make it social media. And seriously guys, you're gonna see demos like this here or limited time offers like this as well. And I mean, that's one way to do it, but you don't have to make it completely salesy. In fact, most of the time you shouldn't, but we'll talk about how you can format your live streams in just a sec. As far as what you can sell on your live streams, as an influencer, you can partner with another brand and sell their products for a small commission. But if you're a merchant and you have your own products, did you know that you can connect your own Shopify store directly to YouTube and use YouTube live streaming as a really great opportunity to sell your products? So if you don't have an online store yet, but you would like to get started, I will leave the Shopify link for you guys down in the description box below. About YouTube shopping fees. All right guys, so who's this gonna be right for? So if you're a creator or a merchant and you have a YouTube channel and you wanna sell products, this is gonna be right for you. But you don't have to be an influencer. Say you're a YouTube shopping platform that manages the products of creators, then this is gonna be right for you as well. To promote your products across YouTube, your channel must meet these minimum requirements, guys. First, you must be a member of the YouTube Partner Program. Secondly, your channel must meet the subscriber threshold for the YouTube Partner Program. And your channel audience cannot be set to as made for kids, and your channel cannot have a significant number of videos that are set to as made for kids. And of course, guys, your channel cannot have received any hate speech community guideline strikes. No, no, no. So if you meet all of these requirements, you can apply for YouTube shopping access. To do this, go to the YouTube studio and click on the monetization tab. Then scroll down to the shopping section and click on the apply button. Once you've applied, YouTube will review your channel just to make sure that it meets all of the eligibility requirements. And if your channel is approved, you will be able to start using YouTube Live Shopping to promote and sell products directly from your Shopify store. But before you start hitting record, there is a YouTube recommended timeline that you're gonna wanna be aware of. I got you. So, four weeks before your live stream, you wanna onboard YouTube Shopping. This onboarding requires you to upload your live stream products into the Merchant Center. Then you're gonna fix any account and product issues at least two weeks before. So you might have some product issues that are violating shopping policies and we don't want that. So be aware of any of those before you go live. Whether or not you're comfortable with hosting live streams, it always is a good idea to run a test with an unlisted live stream one week prior, just so that you can get familiar with the new product tagging experiences. And if this is your first time hearing about tagging, no worries guys, just visit the YouTube Help Center to learn more about tagging products in your live streams. And I will leave that linked down below. And then 72 hours before the live stream, you wanna make sure that you're not making any feed changes. You want your products to be working and shoppable. So this includes no changes to the landing page and the image. Making changes may cause products to get disapproved and then they can't be taggable in your live stream. And that would suck connecting your YouTube into your Shopify. Okay, nice. So once you're approved, you're gonna need to connect your YouTube to your Shopify account. To connect your YouTube account to your Shopify store in order to use YouTube Live Shopping, you're gonna wanna follow these steps. Number one, sign into your YouTube studio. Click on the monetization tab, scroll down to the shopping section and click on the connect store button. Select Shopify from the list of available sales channels. Click on the continue button and then you'll be redirected to the Shopify login page, enter your Shopify login credentials, and then of course, click on the login button. I hope you got that one on your own. Once you've logged in, Shopify will ask you to grant your YouTube permission to access your store data. So click on the allow button, and then you'll be redirected back to your YouTube studio. Your Shopify store will now be connected to your YouTube channel. Once your Shopify store is connected to your YouTube channel, you can start using YouTube Live Shopping to promote and sell products from your store. So to do this, follow these steps, okay guys? Go to the YouTube studio and click on the create button. Select go live from the list of options, 
and in the live streaming settings section, scroll down to the shopping section and toggle on the enable shopping switch. Select the Shopify store that you wanna sell your products from, click on the start stream button to start your live shopping event and you are off to the races. Why live stream? Okay, most of you that clicked on this video are probably already comfortable with live streaming, but if you're watching this and you're already cringing, thinking about being live in front of a bunch of people, I get it. You can't edit a live stream, it's scary. But I would rather your voice shake and crack and you get out there and start selling your stuff, baby, because live stream shopping is a $20 billion market as reported by Forbes in 2022. And that's only 2022, guys. It's only getting bigger. And I want you guys to be participating so that you can reach customers where they are at. So how should you format your live stream? You turn on the live stream button and then what? <laughs> Okay, well, first things first, guys. Content is content is content is content. Whether it's a live stream or YouTube shorts or TikTok or whatever, you always need to think about why the viewer would stay for your content. Are you being totally yourself and hilarious? Are you maybe informing your audience about a highly anticipated collection that you've just dropped? Adding value is so important to keep people hooked and tuned in, but listen, this is not Teletoons on a Saturday morning, you feel me? We have a job to do, so we need to also balance it with selling. So. Some key tips on selling effectively is first, make sure that you're showing the good stuff right from the jump. Be quick to tell your viewers about the best deals that you have going on, the best products, and any limited time offers. Next tip, I know it's hard to talk and demo at the same time, but you have a whole lot of canvas, a visual space. So as you're talking, be sure to show how amazing your products are, whether that's like showing close-ups of materials or like demoing it on yourself, I don't know, or showing like a really impressive end result with your product. You just wanna make sure that you are showing rather than just like sitting and telling. So before I go on to the next tips, if you're finding this video useful and helpful so far, please consider subscribing. The channel that you're watching right now, this is called Learn with Shopify. And we are all about helping you grow your online business. So if that sounds like fun to you, then hit subscribe and we'll see each other every week for the rest of our lives. And guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it is a small thing that you can do for me. And even just to get this video more seen because the algorithm seems to like that kind of stuff. Okay, back to it. Another tip, don't be afraid to hype your product up. If you're selling it, you obviously believe in it. So talk about the features, talk about the benefits, how to use it and any feedback that you've gotten from customers. And one really, really good tip is if you talk about it in first person, like I've used this and this is how it's helped me, you're gonna gain trust from your viewers. The hype up is really gonna incentivize viewers to buy from you. Next tip is to add a sense of urgency by sharing the number of items that you've sold so far and how much inventory you have left. And last tip is repeat the offer that you have going on throughout your live stream in case anyone has missed it or they're joining late. Do this with your voice, but also show it on screen just like this. If you embed promo codes and discounts, this will help customers convert. So how do you get viewers to stay longer on your live stream? To keep viewers from swiping away, make sure that you're making them feel special by answering their comments in the live chat. And a great way to keep them engaged is to just like gamify your live stream. What I've seen a lot of live streamers do is they get viewers to send their order confirmation number and then they get entered into a draw for a special discount or freebie. If you're interested in trying out YouTube live shopping and want to connect your online store, but maybe you don't have an online store yet, then you can get started with Shopify today for free. Is it for free? Yeah, it's for free. There's a free trial. Just click on the link right here and in the description box to get started. Now, last thing that I want to say is that ugh, I know this can be really scary, especially the first time that you do it or the first few times, but just remember to be yourself, have fun with it. And yeah, if you mess up and make a mistake, literally no one is going to remember it in the next minute, let alone the next day. So just have fun. Don't be afraid to try something new. And I want to know in the comment section down below how it turned out for you guys. Best of luck. You got this, and I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Peace.